So now that we understand pressure altitude, how to correct for non-standard pressure, let's look at density altitude. That takes the pressure altitude and then corrects it again for temperature. If we had uh, three slices of the atmosphere, but each slice of the atmosphere were a different temperature, want to see how the airplane responds. So let's say our middle slice of atmosphere from sea level to the top of our troposphere was a standard day where it was 15 degrees at the surface. And if we have a day that's hot, for example, 25 degrees Celsius, then the atmosphere is warm so that air expands, so the atmosphere is taller in, on a warm day. And then if the day were very cold, say 5 degrees, for example, then the air molecules would uh, uh, con condense together because the air is cold. So if you wanted to fly halfway up the atmosphere on a standard day, having, for example, the same number of air molecules above you and the same number of air molecules below you, you would be a certain distance above the ground. So let's just say, for simplicity, there were uh, four air molecules above and below me. Now, in the atmosphere where the temperature is warmer and these molecules have expanded out, in order to fly halfway up the atmosphere, I'm going to physically be higher off the ground. I still have my four air molecules above and four air molecules below me. They're just spaced further apart due to the heating. And on a day where it's very cold, if I wanted to fly halfway up the atmosphere and still have my four air molecules above me and four air molecules below me, then I would physically be closer to the ground. Now how do we know how high we are is we use our altimeter. But the altimeter only has a place to correct for non-standard pressure. We have no way to correct for the non-standard temperature. So you are physically flying higher than indicated on a hot day. And you are physically flying lower than indicated on a cold day. Now, if you wanted to calculate this out, just a rule of thumb would be that for each degree Celsius different than standard, your altitude changes about 120 feet. So let's take an example. Let's say, well, we use this example here. We have 30, uh, 31.2 for our, our uh, pressure, and we need to get our pressure altitude first. So 31.2 and the uh, standard is 29.92, so we have a difference of 2, so we move our decimal, 1, 2, 3, so it's 200 feet difference, and this air is thicker than standard, so the airplane thinks it's 200 feet lower. So let's say, for example, that you were flying at uh, 6,500 feet, and you want your pressure altitude, we would have to subtract 200 feet from that. So your pressure altitude would be 6,300 feet. But let's say that the day was very, very hot. Let's say it's a 30 degree day, 30 degree day, and we're at 6,500. Now, if you remember our standard atmosphere, we need to know what is standard temperature at that altitude. Well, it's 15 degrees at sea level, and we lose 2 degrees Celsius per 1,000 feet. So that means at 1,000 feet, at 1,000 feet, the temperature should be 13 degrees. If we go up another 1,000 feet, the temperature should be 11, 9, 7, 5, and uh, 3, and 1. And when you left the surface on that particular day, let's say this particular day, the temperature was reported 30 degrees Celsius when you left the ground. And as you took off and you were flying, and while you're flying, you look at your temperature gauge. And your temperature gauge was still reading, uh, let's say it was still reading 15 degrees at your 6,500 feet. If, it, if it's indicating 15 degrees Celsius and you know your standard would be 2 degrees Celsius because you're at 6,500, so standard temperature at 6,500 would be 2 degrees. So how much hotter are we than standard? Standard is 2 degrees and we saw on our thermometer that it was 15 degrees outside. 
So we are 13 degrees hotter than standard. And for every degree Celsius hotter than standard, your aircraft will be uh, higher by 120 feet. So we have to multiply 13 times 120. So your airplane will be 1,500, well, 1,560 feet higher than what's indicated because, uh, well, let me retract that statement. Your aircraft, at first, you're, you're actually flying at 6,500, that's what you're indicating. The airplane thinks it's at 6,300 because the pressure is high, so your airplane thinks it's lower. But... Now, you would have to add the 1,560 to that to see what your actual density altitude is. So your airplane's density altitude, that's how your airplane is performing and actually how your body is performing as well, is 7,860 feet because you were flying at 6,500, we corrected, corrected for the pressure problem, and then we corrected for the temperature problem. Now, you don't necessarily have to do it mathematically because on the back side of your E6B or your whiz wheel, uh, there's a little uh, sliding or rotating scale that you can easily plug those numbers in without doing any calculations.